Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a quick video here on some help on how to find the Rhodes End Catacomb. I know for myself included, uh, I did not have this portion of the map unlocked and it was really difficult for me to find uh, the catacomb here. So. There's a couple things, a couple tips that should help you out in finding it. should be quick and simple. Uh, right now, I'm currently at the Fallen Ruins of the Lake, and I think this is just a point that everybody can kind of see. If you have this uh, northwest portion of the lake unlocked, this, your, this map piece is easier to find because you can see it in the gray. Uh, anyhow, once you're in the middle of the lake here, you can see this big tree here straight to the west, and that is going to be your point to which is going to help you find the tomb. So I'm going to fast travel here really fast, just closer to it, to this converted tower, and show you the issue that I was having and that many others were having. So I did not know the exact location of this, and I was just marking it on my map based on kind of what I saw. And I was getting up here, and here's the tree for reference, and I just kept getting to this big cliff, and I'm like, there's no way it's up this cliff. You can't get up there in any direction or any way. And so I was running back and forth along this giant cliff for the, a while trying to find it, and it's not here. So where it actually is, and just for reference again, if you're over here by this big cliff, you can look down, and you see that path down there with the two tombstones? That is what you're looking for. So that is what we are going for, and it's really easy to get there once you know. You can again use this big tree as a reference. We're just going to come down basically around it and hug the cliffside the whole way there. And it's very simple. So we're just going to go down to this lower ground right here. Swing around. And we are going to hug this cliffside. Again, there's your tree. Once you start swinging around the backside here, you're going to see a couple jellyfish and a pathway down to the catacomb which is right down here a few bats and things along the way but you should be able to go right past them and right down here is going to be the catacomb now the reason i'm making this video is because i know there's a couple sought after uh, ashes down here like the soldiers and i can't remember the other one off the top of my head uh, but the soldiers was the reason I came down here. Um, so you can get these early on. Uh, it's not too difficult. I will give you a quick tip. Uh, when you're fighting the boss down here, you do not need to fight the soldier he spawns. You, the snail goes invisible in the corner, and then he kind of walks around invisible. You just got to find him and hit him. You literally don't even need to hit, hit the other uh, enemy. So yeah, hope this helps. Have a good one.